Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leslie and in today's video we will be challenging each other to use only drugstore makeup. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new video and don't forget to follow my Instagram so we can be connected and so you can like the picture I will be posting of the look we will be creating today. So I'm going to prepare my lips with some Vaseline, which is something really good and very, very moisturizing for your lips because I don't think you have to be going out there spending like $20 or something on some lip balm when Target got some bomb ass like lip balms and they work pretty good so the lips are prepped and now we're gonna move on with the eyebrows so for eyebrows I will be using the same product I used on my last video and it's it's the NYX the brow glue which is pretty good and it's not that bad so what I like to do before putting on any product on my eyebrow I like to brush them out and put them like you know in their place because I just feel like that's more organized I don't know I'm just so weird with stuff like this so now I'm gonna conceal my eyebrows and the concealer I'm gonna be using is the elf camel concealer this is the only concealer I have that's um drugstore but it actually works really really good like it's actually pretty good so i kind of concealed my eyebrows but i am not going to lie to you guys i really don't like this on my i area like right here because it just seems to not like I don't know like I just really don't like it and I'm just using a morphe brush guys when I used to when I first started doing makeup I bought everything like I mean everything everything in my collection was expensive as fuck like I really thought like you had to freaking buy expensive shit so your makeup can come out like fucking amazing but as you keep going and learning more about makeup you realize that you don't need expensive shit. So now I will be setting my eyelids with the Beauty Bakery setting powder. Looks like this. Do you guys consider Morphe as a drugstore or makeup or what? Like, I honestly don't know what to consider it because it can, it honestly can be like pretty pricey and I don't know what do y'all think I have a lot of morphe products and I was gonna use it for this video but I was like nah like I don't think it's a um drugstore like you know stuff and so I was like no because their brushes are pretty expensive but they're good so um just applying the setting powder all over my eyes so no product will crease when I put on my eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I will be using the ColourPop X's and O's palette and it looks like this. So beautiful. I love the colors. They still like give me like pretty fall vibes but you can make it work girl so the shade i will be using is issues and i will be applying that on my lid but first i will be packing it like i always do with all my shadows always pack your shadows on before like you know anything because that's how everything is going to be more 
how you say it more pigmented so now I will be putting fortune it on my eyelid I really really love ColourPop products like they're so bomb and so cheap like you could dead ass go into Ulta and buy so many ColourPop things and it won't be that much like fire 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 makeup for good money for a good price like yes ma'am take my money take all my money okay so I blended out that color and now I will be using realness on like the same crease to deepen it like to make it a little bit darker like I will spend so much money on brushes and all of that like my sister for Christmas like this one Christmas it was like it's because I used to have like a little bit of makeup like I did I did not have nothing like when I tell you guys nothing it's like for real like I did I did not have anything and um so I asked for makeup for Christmas and my sister surprised me with my first high-end brushes and there were Sigma and you guys know how much Sigma is. Sigma brushes are fucking, oh my god, so expensive. Now I will be using Issues again but only for this little part because we're going to do a cut crease with it and I don't really like doing cut creases with um concealer and all of that I don't know I just think it's too much so I just do it this way and if you guys hear any noise in the background it might be my dog and my family members because they just got home from work so they're like around so I hope you guys don't mind that and then I will be adding reckless onto it too to like darken it So I blended it all and everything looks so nice now like all put together and now I want to add some glitter but I don't know like mm. I think I want to add smitten I believe that's how you call it it's this one spray I will be using is the wet and wild rose three and one thing so Oh, and I forgot to mention that every product that I mentioned in this video will be listed down in the description. Don't worry, y'all. I got y'all. Now we gotta add the liner, and the liner I will be using is the Wet n Wild one. Looks like this. finished with the liner and it actually looks really cute I like it in my opinion but I'm gonna obviously like carve it out so it looks better oh my god I'm so excited because we're gonna start with the freaking primer and I've been wanting to try out this primer for so long because I seen juicy jazz using it and oh my god her skin beautiful it's beautiful so i will be using this milani primer like so and i'm gonna use a little bit of the elf pretty primer on my nose area so yeah so i'm just putting this on my nose area And a good thing about this is that it has sunscreen. So, girl, you ain't got to worry about aging. You Gucci for the day. 
For foundation, I will be using the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Foundation. And honestly, I don't have any other drugstore foundation, so I'll be using this one. It's actually really good. And to set with, I will be using the Beauty Bakery setting powder and it's really good. Like, oh my God. And now we'll be using some bronzer only if I can find it. I will be using Luminoso by Milani and I don't think I even need like that expensive ass highlight so I'm gonna just use this as a highlight since it has a little bit of shimmer you will see the glow okay so now I will be going in with fortunate under my eyes so it could like you know blend everything in okay so everything is done and now we'll be putting putting on some setting spray and this is the wet and wild photo focus something coconut okay so now we'll be using this mascara i can't pronounce it but it looks like this is by maybelline it's so bomb like it makes your eyelashes look so good guys i use beauty creations in all of my videos but it's because they got some fire ass lashes um they're the plug so they look like this it's called happy hour they're so cute got the beautiful lashes on and now i'll be doing a lip combo so i will be using a nyx professional makeup matte lip liner in london my favorite <laughs> Okay, so now I will be using the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline in Amber. Okay guys, so I just finished doing my whole makeup look and I really love how everything came out. I think it's very beautiful and everything looks so put together. So I highly suggest that you guys better run to Ulta, any drugstore near you guys and buy any drugstore makeup that you think is cute and it will work out. I promise you guys, you just gotta choose the right things and you guys better be ready for the October content I will be putting out because it will be very fun and interesting I guess and spooky obviously so I can't wait to see you guys in October 1st. I really enjoyed making this video so I hope you guys liked it and if you did please give it a like and don't forget to comment like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new video and don't forget to follow my Instagram which is makeup by Leslie because I will be posting this beautiful look on there and yeah see you guys next week